Greetings, uh, Monjour and Mademoiselle, which means Mr. and Mrs. We are 2022 Fall Semester Jesus Podcast Club! Today, we will talk about our favorite movies and which is a topic that Rina was like looking forward a lot. So, say, stay tuned and listen to our voices. Okay, as I mentioned, today's topic is what are our like favorite movies? Let's invite David. I have so many movies that I like. However, today I want to talk about my top 5 favorite movies. I personally watch movies by looking at the trailer and actors. I have few favorite actors such as Tom Cruise, mm. Jackie Chan, and Dwayne Johnson, Antonio Banderas, and Ryan Reynolds. I also like to watch the series of movies. My fifth favorite movie is Back to the Future Part 2. I like this movie because even though this movie is very old, it included many scientific theories. When the main character, Marty, and Dr. Emmett Brown was traveling, they traveled as fast as they could. In the first one, the car was traveling on the land, which will create friction and, which, and it will slow down the time machine. However, in part two, they flew with the fastest speed. Also, this movie was part of first movie. In the last part, it was the same part as the last part of the, mov- the first movie. I loved how the movie was interacted to each other. This movie will be impossible because when the object speed increases, the object mass will also be increased, which means we cannot travel with the speed of light. We cannot. When we travel at the speed of light, we will feel like others are slower than you. They will give you a feeling of time traveling. But actually, time traveling is impossible because time never changes according to the theory of relativity. It is just a feeling, but actually it doesn't change. Even though the story doesn't seem realistic, I like the creative thinking from a long time ago. I like this movie because it included concept from time traveling and creative thinking. Also, it showed me that even if we can time travel, changing the past or knowing the future will have a huge impact on our present. My fourth favorite movie is BB Project. My favorite actor Jackie Chan was the main character, and I also like Chinese style action movies. It is so fun to see Chinese action movies, even though it looks impossible. When two friends were saving the baby, I wonder how the baby would feel when he was falling and having an adventure. My third favorite movie is Top Gun Maverick. I like this movie because my favorite actor Tom Cruise was in there. Also, in the movie Top Gun 1, it wasn't very realistic. However, in this time, it showed pilots feeling the gravity and the mission was more intense than last time. It also showed the friendship between the character Mavery and his friend's son, Bradshaw. My second favorite movie is Red Notice. My two favorite actors, Ryan Reynolds and Dwayne Johnson, was in the movie. It was very fun to see people escaping from the prison. Maybe I shouldn't talk more because I don't want to spoil, but the actions and the mission was very fun. It also gave me the lesson to never believe people too easily. Finally, my top movie is Mission Impossible Log Nation. There are many Mission Impossible movies. Fallout was very fun too. But I don't remember other stories because there were too many scenes. But I still remember when Ethan Hunt, which is actor Tom Cruise, climbed the Dubai building, and when he was trying to get information in the first movie. I remember more, but I don't want to spoil. I like the part where Ethan Hunt was free diving, and it was very fun to see people sneaking into the government. I I kind of was jealous of the suit that Ethan Hunt was wearing because it showed how much oxygen is left in his body. It was also related to the English government MI6, and it was very fun to see actions. I think actor Tom Cruise's movies such as Jack Reacher are very fun. If you like action movies, I recommend you watching Mission Impossible and James Bond, the uh, the 007. Of course, there are great movies like Terminator, Harry Potter, Transformers, and Marvel movies. However, I don't think I like movies that has robots and magical concepts. Try watching Mission Impossible and I'm sure everyone will love it. Now I want to invite Rina. Yeah, okay. So my first favorite movie is Inside Out. So in Inside Out, there are headquarters that controls emotions in everyone's head. 
There is joy, fear, disgust, anger, and sadness. So it tells a story of Riley, who moved from Minnesota to another. We have all our personalities collectively. There are times when I'm sad and times when I'm happy. When you're sad, you know whether you're happy, and when you're happy, you know whether you're sad. Without the opposite experience, we would not even be aware of those feelings. So this movie tells this specifically. And also, I heard Inside Out 2 is coming out in 2024, so I'm already so excited mm -hmm. for this. Yes, and my second favorite movie is Little Forest. So, a young woman grows tired of life in the city and returns to her hometown in the countryside. Um, of course, the movie itself was so beautiful, and also it shows how beautiful four season changes, but I also like how it shows me a story without any major conflicts and events. So, and also it was my first time to refresh my mind um, while watching a movie. And my third favorite movie is Dune. So in Dune, um, Paul, who is a brilliant and gift young man born in a great destiny beyond his understandings, and he must travel to the most dangerous planet in the universe to ensure the future of his family and his people. Okay, so it's a quite hard movie, and um, it's hard to understand the story specifically and detailed. So... If you're going to watch this movie for the first time, I recommend to at least search in Google and read some information and go to the movie theater. And lastly, my first favorite movie is Harry and the Philosopher's Stone. So in this movie, Harry Potter is summoned from his life as an unwanted child to become a student at Hogwarts, an English boarding school for wizards. There, he meets several friends who becomes his closest friends and helps him to discover the truth about his parents' mysterious death. I think the concept of the introduced content seemed to be able to lead the le readers of this movie to another unknown word, and it was also very mysterious. And the reason I chose this series over all the series in Harry Potter was because I like to see them as young ages. Yeah. So, what about you, Emma? What are your favorite movies? Oh, there were, like, tons of my favorite movies. And I just, like, set up really and choose some of it. And number one is La La Land, which is um, the movie you don't like. The City of Stars, for those who dream, like, fashion pianist, Savage Chan, and the successful aspirant, Mia. The brightest moment in their life is, like, the success of their unfinished Life and person. This movie is about Sebastian and Mia are like struggling in their own life, and it ends with suddenly and kind of gloomy, but it emerges from like the complete mm. reality. And second is same as David, the Top Gun 2, the Top Gun Maverick. And the legendary pilot Maverick is hired as an instructor at the training school he graduated from. And unaware of his fame, his teammates ignore Maverick's instructions. But after everyone is overwhelmed by the legendary pilot's skill, then the team members who were building a sold teamwork under Maverick's command were given a dangerous mission to across the border. And Maverick, along with his skill, he taught for their missions. Yeah. And this movie is also like La La Land, a magical and musical a movie that includes cool OST and some heartwarming scene being together for journeys of achieving their missions. And three is Frozen. Like, let it go, let it go. Unlike young Elsa, who is gifted with magical powers beyond her control, her youngest sister, Anna, does not possess the magic. And her rough palette is a crisis in her kingdom when Elsa leaves the country when she discovers a magical secret that should not be revealed to anyone. It's a story about going on an adventure, and this movie is appropriate for watching with your family about love between two sisters, Elsa and Anna, and that leads to me loving my family more. Four is Aladdin, the 
adventure of Aladdin, Genie, and Jasmine to find their wishes and stay with their own two feet and find true love for Aladdin and Jasmine. The collaboration of fantastic OSTs is same as all previous three movies and the movie of magic and fantasy to watch you when you want to go on an adventure to Agraba. Lastly, The Greatest Showman. The P.T. Barnum was a poor as a child and like orphan after her father's his father died, but was m- imaginative and composed a brilliant show based on his fresh idea. Some people said it was like a freak show, but it became known to the British Lure family. And it was just get a great success by introducing a Sweden opera singer named Jenny Lin to the United States. While on national tour, he comes back after realizing the importance of family, not an honor or money or fame. And this movie gives life lessons such as true identity and love myself and true happiness. Mm, yes, thank you so much. Um, but wait, everybody watched Top Gun except me? Yeah. It's a very fun movie. Yeah, it's watch. really good. Yeah, he acted so good. The oh my mo- gosh. The songs are very good too. In oh, Top Gun 1, yeah. there was a very good song called Take My Breath Away. That's really good. <gasps> yeah. Okay. Yes. One of my favorites. Okay, I will watch it soon. I will watch yeah, it. Yeah, tonight maybe. No. <laughs> okay, so I think everyone shared their favorite movie so well. And I love to hear your favorite movies and your favorite movie genre. Um, also, next week we're gonna have a voice skit about a Beauty and the Beast. So stay tuned. Bye. Bye.